promise of an educated society, promise of a leadership that thinks more about service than being served. We want all of that, borders to, 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 to be removed and so on. Why don't we have it? My answer is very clear. Because you have a selfish leadership. Extremely selfish. We often think we often think of the problem of leadership as being the problem of the leaders alone. Fine. They must be defined, have integrity, have all those we want. But to succeed, they must be able to implant those attributes in the population. Their political parties must be organized in such a way that they reflect those values and embody those aspirations in their political interaction. If they don't, you have trouble. We are multi-ethnic societies. What basic values have we embodied in these societies? Equality or is it diversity? How do you convert diversity into strength rather than diversity as a cause for war and internecine fighting? Can it be done? It can be done. It's been done in centuries before in Europe and elsewhere. Why can't it be done in Africa? But we don't have the will because we are selfish. We are concerned of the here and now in the seat I am in. That's wrong. We have, you know, it's ironical that you have a, a continent with the best natural resources of any others as of today. But they are being exploited for the sustenance of those who enslaved us and continue exploiting us rather than being exploited for our own emancipation. Why? Because you have a leadership that does not recognize the degree of present-day present day enslavement, economic enslavement, and the necessity for, uh, for, for, for emancipation. It's ironical. We, we talk about development, but we don't stop in time to define what development is.